الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين دستور يا سيدي يا سيدي يا سلطان الأنبياء نظرك يا سيدي همتك يا سيدي مددك يا سيدي الكريم دستور يا سيدي يا سلطان الأولياء الطب المتصالح دستور يا سيدي يا مولاك يا سيدي الشفاعات دستور يا رجال الله بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نظرك مددك همتك وصدرك مشكورك مولانا الشيخ خالد المكتوم أهم الخير من تقنيات الإنسان في التوازن الروحي ومصر في الأمر الثاني أن الهيومن لايف إز بالانسينج إز بالانسينج والتوازن يأتي من السماء إلى الأرض and this balance comes from heavens to earth that means if you want to balance your life One of the meanings is that listen to the heavenly messages. The heavenly messages balances some uh, a person's life. Without the heavenly message, the life of people is unbalanced. They have they need that balance. وَأَنْزَلَ الْمِيزَانِ Allah Subhanahu wa Taala has brought down that balance. If you leave a human being without scales to weigh. What they're doing, we become like animals. That's the problem nowadays. That people have left heavenly messages everywhere. Even the Muslims that claim to be Muslims, they have left heavenly messages. That's why they are acting like animals. Muslims are not Muslims. Whoever leaves the heavenly message, no more balancing in their actions, no more balancing in their speeches. No more balancing, balancing in their lives. Well, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala has sent the heavenly message. So Grand Sheikh is saying the most important thing in life, is to balance and to own a balance. So first, a murid balances his life according to who. According to the one that owns the balance, which is the Murshid. Your Murshid is the one that has the balance, and you or a human being will compare himself to the Murshid. Is is the Murshid, the Murshid is on Sirat Mustaqim, our Murshid. We believe our Grand Sheikhs are on the Sirat Mustaqim. Now some Shiyukh, of course. They can deviate. There are a lot of people that have deviated from the right path. But Alhamdulillah, we have found a grand sheikh and the sheikh after him that is on the Sirat al Mustaqim, trying to follow the path of companions and Ahlul Bayt. So he is the uh, one that owns the balance, and a murid has to stick to that balance of the sheikh. When the murid uh, advances, Then he owns a balance too. So first you you start balancing yourself against the balance of the sheikh, and then the sheikh will give you your own balance. Then the murid becomes a sheikh. So first at tawazun balance yourself. Then in filakumizan that means to own a balance. Then a, a murid becomes a murshid, and that is the the uh, chain, the silsil. People talk about silsilas. What are the silsilas? Silsilas basically is the spiritual connection of a, a murid to his sheikh. His sheikh is the murid of his sheikh. His sheikh is the murid of his sheikh. Until all of us reach to where? To Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Which all we are trying to find our way through him. He is the one with the ultimate balance. The ultimate balance is Quran and Hadith. Who, will, who has it more than Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam? The ultimate balance is him. So all messengers, Grand Sheikh is saying, all men, all messengers, has brought the the balance from heavens to earth. وَمَا لَمْ يَأْتِ مِنَ السَّمَاءِ فَسَيَكُونُ مُسْتَحِيلًا إِيجَادُ التَّوَازُنِ بِقُوَى الْأَرْضِ وَحْدَهَا. If it does not come from heavens. This balance, it is impossible for 
us to find the balance, the best balance on earth only. The people on earth, their characteristic is, uh, as the Malaika has said, do you make in it, O oh our Lord, when the angels objected to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Not objected, but basically they were asking a question out of curiosity. They were curious. Or Malaika don't object. They do what they are ordered. But it was a lesson for human beings. They have seen what humans do on earth. Their characteristic is يَفْسِدُ فِيهَا أَتَجْعَلُ فِيهَا مَنْ يَفْسِدُ فِيهَا وَيَسْفِكُ الْدِمَاءِ Two characteristics of a human being if, if a human being is left on earth without a heavenly message. One characteristic is corruption. They corrupt. Means that they, everything that is good, they turn it into bad. Everything that was straight, it becomes crooked. يُفْسِد uh, It is the opposite of islah. Islah is to make good, to make perfect, to make straight, to correct. If said, is to take it out of being correct. When your uh, when your uh, car is out of uh, uh, is not working good anymore, what do you do? You fix it yourself. Say, let me see how I can fix. It. No, you go to a mechanic. So a human being's heart, when comes on earth. It is corrupt. You don't say, I'm going to find a way to fix it. No, you go to uh, somebody that can balance it for you. Maulana Sheikh uh, Nazim, one time he said, uh, he was driving with somebody, and uh, that somebody, the steering wheel goes to the right, goes to the left, goes to the right. And Maulana Sheikh asked him, what's happening? He says, Sheikh, this car needs balance. <laughs> he says, if a car, Maulana Sheikh Nazim said, he said, if a car needs balance, a human being does not need balance. Human being needs more balance. But where do you take it? To the balance shop. Your car was keeping a saying, tire rotation. I don't know what it's saying. There are always messages on your car. Mm -hmm. Take it flat tire, tire inspection. I don't know what it is. But, but you need to take it to a balance shop. So you need to get it looked at. So a human being, if left on earth, as angels have seen, that if you leave this one on earth, oh our Lord, this one will corrupt, will make what is good bad, will yes we could why yes we could will shed blood. That means this is what they they talk about al shahwa al ghadabiya, al ghadab or there are three there are three afat there are three big diseases of a human being. One disease affects the power of desire. Another disease affects the power of anger. And another disease affects the power of speech. Human being has these three powers. Al-Quwa the, the, the desire, the power of desire. Al-Quwa al the desire of ghadab. Al-Quwa al and the, and the power, the power of desire, the power of anger, and the power of speech. When the, when the power of desire goes corrupt, everybody sleeps with everybody. That is the radila. Radila to quwa ash-shahwaniya. The badness of the power of desire. Fadila to quwa ash-shahwaniya, quwa but the goodness of the power of desire is the generations, the children, the progeny. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given a human being the power of desire. But angels, they see that they corrupt this, this power that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given them. What do they do? They sleep around. But when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when, when they use it in the good way, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, I'm going to send them the guidance how to use it. So if no balance comes from earth, your powers will go out of control. And when it goes out of control, you see what happens all over the world. Bloodlines will get mixed. People would not know who is the child of whose father or what happened. All the, everything is going to get mixed. So that is the badness 
that the angels had seen. The badness of the power of desire. But Fazila, the goodness of that power is to continue the bloodline and message. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has says, said to them, I will send them Huda. When the one who, whoever follows my Huda, there will be no uh, hope, no fear to them. There will be no, uh, they will not be sad. That means they will find a way to Jannah. So we need the balance. So this is the first one. That's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, don't do zina, don't do adultery, don't use this power that I gave you in a corrupt way, as angels have seen. Nowadays, everybody does that, uses that power how? Most of the people in a corrupt way. They need guidance, they need the, they need the balance. Second, al-quwa al-ghadabiyya, the power of anger. That is yes, they could be mad. When somebody gets angry, what do they do? They shed blood. Injure or kill. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, send guidance how to use anger. Not to use it any way you want. No. There is shara. There is uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's commandments. How to use that. You cannot be a, an animal and just injure and harm and maim people. That's what's happening nowadays. Everybody that is not following heavenly messages, they go into bars, they do go into clubs, they go into synagogues, they go into mosques, they shoot, they kill, they injure, because they are acting as the angels have seen them. These people, oh my Lord, if you leave them without guidance, they will corrupt on earth. So these ones, they need, they are not following heavenly messages. That's why they're doing what they're doing. You cannot kill or harm without a right, without a, a, a right to do that. Governments, for example, some governments, they still do the lethal injection and they do the hanging. This is, this is by law. So this is the second power. The third power, al-quwa al The per, third power that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave a human being is the power of speech. And the power of speech, the badness of the power of speech is lying. الكذب رذيلة القوة النطقية الكذب وأكبر الكذب الكذب على الله and the most the biggest lie is that when people say there is no God that's the biggest badness of that speech of power of speech so shaitan is the one that has done that and has come against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has told him you have done wrong he has used that power in a bad way. And he's teaching human beings to, to use that power of speech in a bad way. Therefore, there is fadila uh, to the, the goodness of the power of speech is to speech uh, to speak truth, to speak haq, which is what Rasulullah has taught us, what our uh, teachers have taught us, what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has sent, the heavenly messages. So we have to use our uh, power of speech in explaining heavenly messages. Allamahu al-bayan. Ar-Rahman. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the merciful. He has taught Quran, the truth. Haq. Khalaq al-insan. He created a human being. Allamahu al-bayan. He taught him how to explain truth. So to use the power of speech is to use it in truth. Nowadays, people use their power of speech in lies. Everybody lies. Everybody cheats. Not only on each other, but on God, on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, on Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa We don't believe what you say. You're a liar. That is the biggest lie. We don't believe in the heavenly messages. You are all liars. That's the biggest lie. This is the biggest badness that a human being can say. So Grand Sheikh is saying, at the wazum, you have to have that balance. You have to balance your desires, you have to balance your anger, and you have to balance your speech. And this only happens when we are following shuyukh that will teach us what Rasulullah has brought of a balance, who taught us what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has sent. Not only by the powers of earth. 
Now everybody wants to find a solution among themselves. They never look into heavenly messages. They, ne they don't look into Quran. Even, even in our countries, in our con Muslim countries, so many Muslim countries, they say, oh, we have this too. We have constitution. We don't look into Quran. In North Africa too. <laughs> Lebanon, Syria, everywhere. We don't look into Quran. No, we have a Western style constitution, the French constitution, or the English constitution, or whatever they chose. But these are Muslims. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has sent you, sent you a balance. Why don't you apply this heavenly message of peace and love and justice? Justice, that's what's missing. The heavenly messages is all about justice. How to balance your acts, how to balance your speech, how to balance your thoughts, how to balance all of that. You can get uh, from the right, you can get from the left, but Quran and Hadith, and our shiuch, of course, we don't have to learn Quran and Hadith by ourselves. We need a guide, Murshid. The Murshid will teach us how to uh, balance ourselves. And he is the one that owns the balance. When I uh, go to some businesses, they, they have machines. Uh, they put these test control kits. I ask, what are you doing? Oh, we have we're re we're recalibrating the machine. Why? Because it's off. How do you recalibrate? They bring a perfect thing. So they bring a sample. The machine tests the sample. It has to be between these values. So they recalibrate the machine to be within these values. So you are a machine. And that test kit is your sheikh. When the sheikh enters into your heart, then you have to start calibrating your machine according to the values of the sheikh. Cannot go too much right, cannot go too much left. Your sheikh is the one that gives you the, the, the limits. They say the limits of the, of the test uh, has to be between this and this. If it's above that, it's off. If it's less than that, it's off. This is your shaykh, this is your mushu, this is your balance. The shaykh himself is the balance. Mm. Inshallah, we can balance ourselves according to our shaykh. But find the real one. When we find a, a wrong shaykh, he is already unbalanced. You will unbalance yourself even more. But when we balance ourselves to a perfect mushu, eventually, Mawlana Shaykh is saying, we will find Malakut, we will find the way to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, heavenly kingdom. Everybody wants to go to the heavenly kingdom. Where is the heavenly kingdom? Okay, the heavenly kingdom is in you. It's inside of you. You don't have to go anywhere. Okay, you, know, you take a shuttle to the moon, you take a shuttle to the sun, the first heavens, where is it? It's inside of you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given some, something called a ruh. A ruh. That's why the Jewish people, when they came to Rasulullah sallallahu they were asking, what is the ruh? Because they knew that is the vehicle. Rasulullah sallallahu has told them, a ruh min amri rabb. It is min alam al amr. You have alam al you have, it is from the world of order, be and it will be. That That is an extreme power. None of us has tapped into that yet. But our Murshid has done that. But the way he has done it, he has to teach you how to do it. But he is the balance. So once we tap into our soul, into our ruh, we will understand what it has, what power it has. Grand Sheikh has said, now your body is the envelope and your ruh is what's inside of it. You have an envelope, you have something in it. So the body is the envelope and the soul is, your, is the letter. When we reach that level, it will be the opposite. The body will be the letter. The soul will be the envelope. So basically, you will be something else. You will be traveling with that ruh, with less than the blink of an eye. It's the power that it has. He says, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given a sign to a human being to understand the power of the ruh, how fast it is. He said, by one look, you can see the farthest star in the sky. There's a star. They say the light needs how many million of years to come? There are some stars that they are 
visible, they are existing, but the light has not reached yet Earth. It, it, is, it needs millions of years to travel. And there are stars that have vanished, but their light is coming. It didn't stop yet. He says, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given you, all oh, human being, a power that with, when you look, you see the star. That is the speed of the soul. You don't need millions of years to reach that star. That is a small sign that you have something inside of you so fast, so powerful, so strong. You look at this, you see the star. But that star's light has taken millions of years to come down here. So the soul will be the envelope, the body will be the letter. With that, you move in Malakut. And that is with the guidance of the Moshe. Inshallah, we will be given that order. The Moshe does not do anything without an order of Rasulullah sallallahu So if the order doesn't come, we won't go anywhere. We are waiting for permission. Inshallah, the permission from Rasulullah sallallahu comes to our Moshe. And our Moshe gives us that order, and inshallah, we can travel with that. So, balance. Grand Sheikh is saying the most important thing in a human's life is balance. Balance is from heaven. The heavenly messages are the balance. If we do not balance ourselves, we'll be like the angels have seen. These ones will corrupt on earth, will take things out of balance. These ones will injure and hurt and harm and shed blood on earth. Because of the three powers we explained. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us from the ones that say haq. Truth, truth, even in front of the crooked ruler, Sultan al Jair, even in the, in the front of, uh, of somebody that is tyrant, to say haq is the most important jihad. To say you are wrong, O oh ruler, O oh tyrant, you are doing wrong. Inshallah, we can say, we can use that power in saying the truth. You can use the power of anger also in a balanced way. And you can use this, uh, you can use the power of desire in a balance. How Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has commanded, how the heavenly messages have commanded us to use. Even in Christianity, they say no fornication, no, no, no. they cannot. That power has to be used in a balanced way. Because if somebody sleeps around like they do nowadays, and they have a child, and they hide it, or they give it to an orphanage, or they give it to a church, or they give it somewhere. That child, when they grow up in the future, maybe he or she will meet her aunt or her uncle or her mahram, or her brother or her sister. How can that blood mix? Everything will be messed up. The inheritance will be messed up. Nobody knows that this, that this is a second child or a third child. So that power has to be used in a balanced way. Balance. So inshallah we can uh, we can be balanced. Mm -hmm. and I'll finish with this. La usul minduni mizan. You cannot reach without without a balance. Wala mizan minduni moshi. And there is no balance without moshi. Your moshi is your uh, testing kit. You put it in your heart and you calibrate your heart according to the values that the moshi sets. Inshallah, inshallah we can be from the ones that reach. The Hurmat al Habib sallallahu alayhi wa sallam on the city of Surah al Fatiha. Alhamdulillah, we can continue later, inshallah. Maulana's words never finish. So sleep. That's